Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Modern Warfare video over here on the channel. Uh, in today's video we are going to be covering a new weapon which added, was added in through the Battle Pass. Uh, that weapon being the Hogler 26 and it is believed to be the G new and improved, well I don't say improved, I'm not going to say improved, I've not actually used it yet. G36C off the original Call of Duty Modern Warfare COD 4 if you will. Uh, it is actually a LMG in this game. I did make a class setup with it right now. I've obviously got no attachments for it. I've never ever used it. Um, hopefully it's good. I don't know. I hate LMGs as it is. It's uh, not going to be anywhere near as good as the old G360. I know this for a fact. I can just, I can just tell. Uh, one reason we need to LMG. It could be wrong. But what better map to play on than Crash 24/7? We're going to hop straight into a game with the new G360 on Crash 24/7. Hopefully it's as good, I doubt it, but let's see, it's going to be insane. Okay, we have joined a game of Domination on Crash a little bit late. There's our first victim. I mean, it does look very similar, not exact. Obviously, it has got the round mag on it as well. If the round mag wasn't on it, if it was a standard magazine, then, oh man, it would look... Oh, I didn't even see that guy. It would look exactly the same, uh, near enough anyway, with some minor changes, obviously, to be expected. I mean, this map, the Crash map, for my first time, I think I actually showed it on the channel. Uh, it's a... Uh, Pretty much an identical uh, replica of the original map, apart from the addition of doors. And there is, when I jump up here, that back area just there where I'm aiming, uh, that was not actually on the original map. If you didn't play it, now you know. Um, which, in my opinion, you might think that doesn't make the slightest bit of difference, but it actually does. Have, there's a nasty head glitch there as well, which I've been killed from a couple of times. I mean, you can just sit there on the head glitch. Let's see if I can wallbang that kid. No, it's not going to happen for me. Uh, but yeah, it does make a huge difference, and I'm playing a bit camp. It's my first time actually coming up here, and I'm getting beamed from down below. That's why I don't go up there. I, I hate I hate that spot, to be fair. For the simple fact, just the uh, fencing around it, I just don't like that. Uh, it's pr pretty much a cheap spot, a nasty spot. I mean, this gun... Oh, I'm getting sniped. I'm, I'm, I thought I got sniped. Obviously not. I got shotgun by the 725. Obviously. Um... But yeah, I do. I'm I, I'm a huge fan of this map. I don't seem to like it as much uh, in this game. Uh, but I feel that's the same with a lot of remastered maps. I feel like they never give the same sort of feeling than uh, the original. You know, playing it back then. You know, when that you know that map was off that game, and this kid's still in the middle. Just why? Um, it never gives the exact same feeling. I think it's a shame. Uh, but obviously, this game the game feels different. The weapons are way different. Uh, it's just different, so it just doesn't give the same, the same kind of feel. I feel that's what I feel like anyway. You guys might disagree with me, you might not. Um, obviously, I'd love to be on this map with the M16 from that game. I mean, that would really bring back the feeling uh, if they could add, add that gun back into the game. I know you could add, you can actually get the unlock the, uh, or you could. I'm dead. Wow, you could actually unlock the uh, M original M16 by reaching max rank in the previous season or the pre-season if you will uh, when you reached 155 you managed to unlock the what was you know believed to be the M16 well this gun's got so much ammo actually if I had to reload not used to the LMGs with the, uh, with the high ammo output oh man I'm shot in the back come on um, I forgot what I was even saying this kid why am I spawning in front of this kid wow uh, you could actually unlock the original M16 but it was for the M4A1 so it was a. I'm pretty sure it was a fully automatic. Obviously, things in this game are just aesthetic, which is good. I do like that. I don't want, um, you know, weapon variants with boosts on the damage and stuff like that. Uh, that's just not going to sit well at all. Uh, I mean, we saw it in Advanced Warfare, and if you couldn't get, I it's like, this, it's like comparing to Advanced. Whoa, what is these spawns are a little bit crazy. If I'm being honest, I mean the reload time on this is okay. I was about to say it's pretty good, but I can't cancel it out there. Is what it is. It's not too bad for an LMG. Stopping power rounds. Let's go. See, this is what I mean about this head glitch. This this spot where I'm sat right now wasn't there. This wasn't an accessible part of the map. So this was blocked off. You could only just run around the back alley. And I actually have a clip. I don't know if I have it on the channel. On Modern Warfare Remastered, I got a nasty six man uh, here. I, got, I think I got a quad feed, then two just over there like that. Uh, it's just it was a pretty sick clip as well. I had some amazing clips back in the day. On them games, they were just so much more fun. Uh, to be honest, I think I was probably a better player back then as well. You know, I, I, I think anyway. And these guys are going to keep spawning down here. So, okay, this guy in here actually. Let's try and chase him. He's probably got claymores everywhere in here. 
I hope not though. But I can just... Oh wow. Yeah, I knew it. I think Claim Wars would be so much more um, fair if the delay from... Obviously when you run through a Claim War you hear the, the t little click. From the click to the actual explosion, if that time was increased just slightly, um, like so slightly where you couldn't really notice, then I think there would be so much more fair and stand a lot more better chance of actually surviving them. And I'm going to see if I can nade this kid. I doubt it though. Oh no, maybe someone else just killed him. I don't know. Wow. Up close, this gun's not, not good at all. Obviously, it's an LMG. So, and I was up against the MP7 there. There's only going to be one winner every single time. I mean, this. I think the map itself, I like. I like this map in the game because um, this game is such a slow-paced game. Uh, and a lot of the maps that was originally in the game when, it, when they first launched. Oh, wow, look at this guy. Uh, sort of reward campers and, you know, reward the slower play styles. Whereas maps like this off Call of Duty 4, a fast-paced game, um, really do... Um, you know, reward, well, give more of a chance to the uh, faster paced players. I do prefer to be a faster paced player, but I do play slow a lot of the time. Where's this kid? Wow, this kid beaming. I don't know what I'm thinking of this gun so far. It's decent, but uh, definitely suits us. Wow, okay, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh, wow, I didn't mean to do that. Um, hopefully, this kid can pick him up. I might just sit here. He's got the shotgun, though. Wow, you're dead. Anybody else? I'm scared there's going to be somebody else. No. Okay, let's pop the stopping power rounds. Make sure nobody's coming up behind me because I can feel it. I can just feel it. This guy, he's coming for me. He's hunting. Where's this kid? Where's the last guy? See, I think he might be over there. Yeah, he is. Wow, I'm getting beamed. Where was the other guy? I think he was in the helicopter. Wow. Maybe. Yeah, he was. I'm pretty sure he was ended up in the helicopter at the end of the kill cam. I could be wrong, um, but I wish they had like the original jump spots. I mean, there was a way to get on top of the like all the roofs and stuff here, and so many more like glitch glitch spots, if you will. I don't want to call them glitch spots as such, but I mean you could get into some glitch spots from these areas, which um, you know could be literally uh, game breaking almost. I mean, there was a separate they made a separate playlist for it back in the day, uh, old school playlist. If you didn't know about that, um, basically. You didn't have creative class. You had to find your guns around the map. Sort of similar to the there's a uh, I don't actually think it's been in the full game yet. The gunfight mode, I know it was in the alpha and the beta. The gunfight mode where you had to pick up the weapons off the floor and stuff, um, then off the wall. It was a lot similar to that, uh, except it was just normal game modes and stuff like that. And you had a long I think you had a longer sprint time where you sprinted faster, and you had a jump boost as well. And I can't actually aim for shit. Or whether I'd have killed that guy. I'm going to have to help my team out over on B actually quickly. Right. Uh, it, w it, I'd, it was fun. Uh, primarily just to get into glitch spots. I mean, if you just go hop into a private match, put old school rule set on, you could literally get outside of the map within 30 seconds of spawning in. And it was uh, it was definitely a lot of fun. This kid's going to get absolutely his nade take off. What did I even just say? Nade take off? What was I on about? <laughs> Jesus. But if you haven't seen my recent uh, last video as well, um, it is a uh, opinion video on why I hate the new battle pass this ta this year, uh, and why you know it's just not worked out as great as uh, I would have liked it to, or as anybody would have liked it to. Actually, I think I made a, a, some great points on how they could have actually even improved it and improved this game as a whole. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. But so far, I know this video was primarily about the new G360. I'm not going to be honest, after I've done this video, I don't think I'm ever going to use it again. Didn't like it at all, just for the simple fact it's an LMG, it's a lot more slower. Um, the aim to fire speed is incredibly, incredibly slow, which I don't like. It's a lot of the time I've died in these gunfights and stuff like that. I mean, this guy was in B, wow. I mean, I didn't even know where this guy was. But uh, this has not been the best game place, to be honest. I've been rambling too much about crashing the old Call of Duty 4 and... All that kind of stuff. So I hope you guys did enjoy uh, listening to that. But this game is almost over. Um, the new G360. I don't like it. But I'm sure a lot of people will. Uh, there is a new gun as well. Another new gun as well. I'm pretty sure it's an AR. Uh, I think it's called the Ram or something similar to that. Where's this guy? Where's this guy? Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where he is. 
but B is so hard to secure on this map. So many angles I could get shot from. Uh, I didn't even see this guy behind me, but 17 kills. I mean, average. You know, I had to play a lot more slow pace with the G36C, but um, is what it is. I mean, you know, there's nothing I could do. It's just crash, fast paced map. And that was a slow paced gun, obviously, to be expected. Uh, a gun like the M4A1 would have been way better, but, you know, the MP7 probably would have been the best choice for me anyway. But we're going to have to end this video here, guys. So thank you guys ever so much for watching. I hope to catch you guys in the next one. If you guys are new around here, then make sure you do hit that subscribe button uh, for more daily Call of Duty content just like this one. And uh, if you like the video, make sure to hit that like button. Any constructive criticism down in the comments below is always appreciated. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. Hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.